pre-death row. Pac would try to appeal to both sides, Bloods and Crips. When he went to death row, he was strictly representing mob, MOB, Bloods, right, Paru. But that was in conflict with his thug life message. Thug life was designed to try to organize the inner city. Suge never did that. He unified the gang members that worked with him, but he never really was like, hey guys, stop banging. So you got a guy looking to find direction, looking for something to be down with. Tupac saw Suge, a blood, as a father figure. He finally found in that direction. Suge saved his life, bailed him out of prison when it seemed like everyone turned their backs on him. He showed his loyalty to us, Suge. And as the East Coast, West Coast beef escalated, who escalated it? Suge Knight and Tupac followed. Everybody's screaming about the East Coast. This is the West Coast hip hop representing constantly, 24 seven. We doing it for real. Everybody out here got real thug lives to match these thug records. Then that East Coast, West Coast thing, it became violent. Newsweek magazine reports this week on what it says is a growing feud between East Coast rap mogul Puffy Combs and West Coast titan Suge Knight. The problem's starting to magnify more. Suge lost a friend in Atlanta that was murdered. You know, Jake was a good guy, and they were saying all oh, that had something to do with Puffy people. And I think Jake's thing was more of a setup job. A lot of people was pissed off about that. We outside of Death Row and, and, and Bad Boys. This is on some total street shit now. It was a war of words before that. But now, you know, there's a body. So December of 1995, Death Row throws a Christmas party up in the Hollywood Hills. And an individual named Mark Anthony Bell, a friend of Puffy's, attends this party and is accosted and taken upstairs. Suge Knight, Tupac Shakur all confront him and say, listen, you know, we're gonna beat your ass until you tell us where Puffy's family house is out here in Los Angeles. And um, Mark didn't want to give that up, and they uh, did some did some things to him. He might have got a few punches, and he probably drunk about 20 shots of piss. You know what I mean? Literally. I had heard of those incidents happening at the time, which was letting it be known that, you know, there's a real beef going on here. 